It's Real Hair Talk with Club Rapunzel, and today I'm here with my mom. Hello, I'm Penny, former counselor. I'm still a counselor, a former teacher, parent, wife, just enjoying life. That's me. And we're gonna hear all about my mom's hair coming right up. We're back to Club Rapunzel's Real Hair Talk and talking about different hairstyles. Uh, we've done it straight, we've done it curly, we've done it natural, we've done it blow dried, we've done it straightened. Every single one was an event and an experience, but the hair care was, was probably most difficult if it was, you know, chemically straightened. That was the most difficult one to keep healthy. But um, I've enjoyed them all, and I really enjoyed it when we just went natural and wore that afro, and then I loved it when I just washed it and scrunched it up and let it be curly. Mommy, tell me if there's a time that stands out when you did your hair yourself or someone else did it. Okay, well, there's been plenty of those times, but I will tell you one time when I was in college, I had my girlfriend do my hair, when she was only doing what I told her, so it was basically my fault that things didn't go the way they should have. Um, we decided to do hair color, and we were using peroxide, and um, it wasn't done correctly. And when she went to shampoo the hair, hair just started coming out all over. It was just coming out. It was awful. It was a mess. Uh, but she was very talented as far as styling was mm. concerned. <laughs> but anyways, it was such a mess until finally I, we had to, I had to give up the money and go to a beautician. And uh, I had a fabulous beautician. He had to just start from scratch and cut my hair. And that was when I had my first very short haircut. And it was absolutely stunning. Everybody thought I did this on purpose. And it was very expensive, but it was worth it. Did a lot of conditioning, and then he did a lot of cutting. And I had a very nice, long in the front haircut, shorter on the side, graduating down, and very, very short in the back. And it was very, very nice. Um, but it was hard to keep up, because when you have a very short haircut, you have to keep it trimmed to keep that beautiful, sharp look. So that meant going to the salon which I could not afford to do for too long, so it eventually grew out. But I did enjoy it. So I haven't really had a lot of moms on the show, so tell us, what did you learn from doing your daughter's hair? Oh, that was such an experience. Okay, I can't really say one or the other because you were both so different. Uh, you didn't mind having your hair done. Your sister was all over the place, running if she saw the comb or the hairbrush, all under the table, gone. You know, come back here. She was every place. When she was about eight or nine years old, she decided she's going to wash her own hair. And she was always washing her hair because she didn't want me to do anything with it. And she would tangle it up because she didn't know how to not tangle it up. So that was an experience, trying to keep that from happening. You were like, Mommy, do my hair. Uh, so, you know, it was, it was a different experience each time. Well, I think I learned mostly take care of your hair. Uh, make sure that you keep it clean, keep it conditioned. If you do that, you'll have healthy hair. And along with that, you have to eat good nutritional food, which we all are trying to do. And uh, just keep it, keep it in the best condition that you can by washing it, conditioning it, and don't color your own hair. <laughs> you know, let someone who really knows what they're doing do that for you. So that's basically what I've learned about that. Do you have any hair goals now still? Well, at this point in my life, the biggest hair goal that I have is to keep the hair that I do have. <laughs> <laughs> and so that would mean just what I said, take care of it as best you can. On behalf of Club Rapunzel, I want to thank my mother for being on the show today and sharing with us. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and visit clubrapunzel.com to join the club. Thank you for having me. I enjoyed this visit 
and uh, visit her at Club Rapunzel. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.